Good morning, it's Margaret Fetty at the University of Sewing and it's Facebook Live. Well, we have had a very entertaining last 24 hours. We had somebody drive through the doors of the shop next door. Fortunately, no one was hurt. They didn't actually go all the way through. That was a really good thing. Um, got them all taken care of. They got scared. We got taken care of all that craziness. And you know what? Today is Saturday, it's sunny out. It was snowing earlier, that has stopped, thank goodness. And we are getting ready for a wonderful day. I hope you are having a wonderful morning. Hope you've got your coffee, keeping nice and snuggled and warm this morning. Um, we have got some really cool things to show you this morning. And I had hoped to finish one of them and actually wear it, but it didn't quite happen. So behind me, I was telling you guys how much I love the Tilda fabric and how much it feels so nice and everything. Well, I've made myself a button down shirt for it. I still have to put the buttonholes and the buttons on it and I have to hem it, but it'll be finished. So maybe next week I'll actually get to model it for you. Um, it was a lot of fun to make that particular project and I always forget how quick you can put clothing together versus quilting. And I uh, want to remind you, if you're thinking about starting and getting involved in clothing, we do a lot of clothing classes, and we would love to have you. We had a group here yesterday. There was five of us, and we had um, we all learned how to make uh, knit T-shirts, uh, or a knit tank, or excuse me, knit T-shirt and knit tunic tops. Um, we were using Pamela Leggett's patterns. We carry those. And if you haven't tried one of them, the patterns are so good. Everybody, if they had to do anything, they had to do some minor shoulder work. But other than that, we were in good shape. And those patterns are just so forgiving and so well made for adult women. I highly recommend them. Okay, so let's go ahead. And I realized at the beginning of this that I forgot to get a uh prize for today for sharing. So Dave has got a great idea here. He's going to take care of me. So today we are going to give away one of our University of Sewing bags. How would you like to have a, your own University of Sewing bag? So this bag we will give you if you are the winner of our sharing contest. And basically how this rolls is you are watching this now on Facebook. All you have to do is click on share to your newsfeed. And then what happens is Facebook will make sure that your friends and family can see that you were watching our live video. You can do that anytime within 24 hours of us posting this. And then what you can do is you can write in the comments section that you share. The reason that you need to do that is because your privacy settings on Facebook may not allow us to see that you actually shared. So if that's the case, then I won't know unless you tell me. So if in the comments after you've shared, you write the word shared, I'll know that you did that and we can enter your name in the contest. So really cute little bag. I will take the little fluffy off of it. You know, there is nothing in this shop that does not have a thread on it, I'm pretty sure. And I'm gonna move these over for a second because we're gonna start with something. I think Dave says I showed these to you, but if I showed them to you at the quilt show, I'm not sure how well you got to see them. And I wanna make sure that I let you know um, because we've only got a couple more left. And once they're gone, they're gone. And I want to make sure that you can get one if you would like it. I think they're pretty spectacular. Um, this panel is our wonderful American Eagle. But the really wonderful thing in this for me, and it kind of gives me goosebumps every time I see it, is they put our flag in here. So there is the stars and the stripes and our beautiful eagle. And this is a really spectacular little bit of lightning going across the sky. It is so gorgeous. We have the, oh, by the way, um, you know what? I'm gonna just tell you, I don't think I noticed this before, but here in the clouds, there's also stars. So that's really neat. There's more stars over here. So 
If you have maybe a veteran in your life, you have somebody who's just very patriotic and loves their country, and one you think that this this could make a fabulous. You could do like a, a lap robe. You could do a wall hanging. You could do a lot of things. This would make a great present for a lot of people. Um, also, if you're thinking of maybe a quilt of valor, that would be pretty cool. So I just want to point those kind of ideas out to you. So again, there's only a couple of these left. It's called Winged Glory by Northcott. And so if you're wanting one of these, it's time for you to order one. We also have a different one that, again, you could do these same kind of things. You could cut this up into three separate pieces, or what you could do is you could use it as one. It's pretty cool whichever way you go to do it. I kind of like the idea of cutting this apart and making it um, into different things. Now, what's really fun about this is over in this mountain, we've got the Statue of Liberty right here. So again, I'm pretty sure that those are stars up in the clouds there. So we've got the Statue of Liberty. Now, when we looked at this one, it took me a minute, but there's a flag right here. So this is our flag. There's our stripes and there's our stars. So we have a flag in this one. Now, this one was a lot harder because it's actually the, the eagle is flying across the sky, but the reflection down in the water has got our flag. So that was really neat. So these are really beautiful. The artwork is amazing, very clear, nothing pixelated about it. Again, it's called Wing Glory from Northcott and I really thought it was worth spending some time telling you again about them because 4th of July is not that far away and maybe you wanna make something special for that. Um, like I said, this one's interesting because it's just got these panels to it. So maybe you can do something with that three panel piece that would be a little creative and different. So um, I don't want you to miss out on them. So I'm gonna tuck those away for a minute. Now, I have a new product that we got. While we were at the quilt show, I met a very nice woman and her name was Marilyn and she was teaching at the quilt show and I would tell you exactly what her last name was, but it's not on her patterns right here, and I'd have to go run and get one, and there's nobody with me today. Caitlin's out sick, nobody's here but me, so you guys have to come and see me, so I'm not totally bored. Actually, it's not gonna be totally true. Caitlin's mom is watching. Oh, hello, Bo, how are you doing? Boo, excuse me, not Bo, Boo. So. Boo, hello, and thank you for joining us. Um, so we also have Cheryl, is who I think we, did we introduce Cheryl last week? I'm not sure if we did or not. So Cheryl's going to join our team. She's gonna join as a teacher and as an employee, and she's just gonna work a little bit for right now. We'll see if she wants to work any more than that. I actually just kind of begged her to come and work today. So she'll be here, but it'll be a little bit, uh, it, she won't be here for this part of the, the morning. So she'll be here. So I won't be completely by myself because Dave's uh, be off dropping off cabinets. And he's got Daniel, Denise's uh, son, her middle son, going to help him do that. Um, and then, he, so he's not going to be here for a lot of today. But. We are going to be here. We're open 10 to 5 today, and we would love to see you. Should remind people that it is spring break, and town's pretty quiet. Town is pretty quiet. That means any restaurant you want to eat at is probably going to have plenty of nice seats for you for lunch. Traffic in and out. Traffic in and out is going to be simple. There's not much going on, and it, it, we have plenty of parking. <laughs> we aren't going to have any problems with that today. So come on in and see us. We'd love to see you. Um, okay, so what I wanted to show you also today was this wonderful group of, they're called Twisted, I'm going to make sure I'm getting this name right. These are called Twister Sisters. This is the name of the company that makes these this particular product. Now, 
I will tell you what really got me. I don't have a sample made yet because I've been, we've been, we're busy. We're always busy. I'm in the process of making a sample. I thought, well, maybe it would be really fun for me to show you how this works. So I'm going to come around to the front and I am going to show you how these work because they're really interesting. You know how they always say about us silly quilters, we sew things together so we can cut them apart and sew them back together again. Well, yes, that's exactly what we do. So this lovely pattern is made up in multiple sizes. So I'm gonna just show you, they go from all the way from this little bitty size and, and try to put this on here. See, look how little that is. I have small hands, guys. This one is, I believe, an inch and a half square. So that one, then we go up in size. That one's called the itty bitty twister. Then we have this one, which is called the tiny twister. So this one is just over two inches. So the cool thing about the ones I'm showing you at the beginning here is these can all be done with strips of two and a half inches wide. So those charm, charm packs and your uh, the jelly rolls are going to work perfectly for this. Now we've got the mini twister. The mini twister is almost three inches. And then we've got, we go up to the next size. It's called the little twister. And so the little twister, now we're into almost four inches. Then we have the midi twister. The midi twister is six inches. Now, wait a minute. It's five. I like It's five. And then the big kahuna, which is apparently a new one, and I did not know this. And this one is just called, looks like it's just called the twister. So this big one you use 10 inch squares for. And then the only one that's kind of an oddball size I feel like is this one right here, because you need six and a half inch strips. And so those are gonna be, you might wanna use yardage or your fat quarter bundles for this. So the basic idea of this is you make a grid. And what I did was I just took a charm pack and a jelly roll and I mixed these two together. And so what I did is I cut my charm packs, my charms into two and a half inch squares. And then, so those are what these are. Now, of course, you could just use the jelly roll and use those as two and a half, but I wanted to do a pretty big mix of colors. And so on the outside edge, what they tell you to do is they tell you to alternate colors. So if you look at this, we've alternated colors. And then they tell you to put a border around it. And they say it's really important because what it does is it gives you this variety of look. So... What your next step is on them, and all of this is in your little, um, it's right here in, in the thing that they come with. So you get a pattern with it too. So you're gonna get in any of them, they're gonna give you sh different things, they're gonna, and then show you what it looks like at the end. So, and this mini twister shows you doing it on a table runner. And so this gives you a different pattern. There's also this. This is the itty bitty pinwheel quilt is what they're showing here. And this one almost looks like, um, when I saw it done up, it almost looked like a wreath. I didn't remember to bring it over because we were, we were kind of a little rushed this morning because I was trying to get this done for you so I could demonstrate it. But I actually have patterns for these two. So in you look into our website at universityofsewing.com, if you go ahead over there and you look under Twisted Sister or, or, or you go ahead and put in um, Latest Arrivals, you will see this. And so you'll see the patterns and you will see where you get the rollers. So today what I thought I would do is show you the itty bitty twister because that's what I made this up for. And I'm going to actually cut these apart for you so you can see the idea here. So all you have to do, it has a little X across it. And so you just line the X up with your seam allowances. So Dave, 
get that. So what I what you're gonna do is for each one of these intersections right here, I'm gonna cut one of those out. So the idea is that you use your rotary cutter. And by the way, if you have a 28 millimeter rotary cutter, that is probably gonna be a better choice because this guy is huge. And I'm trying really hard to be careful here. So, all right, so we're gonna cut that out. But see, I could stop and end a little bit easier with a 28 millimeter. I'm gonna use scissors to get that last little bit. Okay, so there's one of my squares. And then what we're gonna do, if we open up our little pamphlet here, it's gonna show me how I cut all of those out across the top. Then what I'm gonna do is go down to the next row and I'm gonna put this on here. And look how that fits on there just perfectly. So here's another one. So we'll go ahead and cut that out. And this one's a little easier because I don't have to worry about that top up there. Uh, I'm getting everything this time, guys. Oh, I didn't cut that straight at all. We'll have to go back there and cut that more straight. There we go. And all right. And I'm going to have my scissors handy. I'm just telling you, having that little rotary cutter roller. Look at these. Look at all this. Now, I'm not telling you what to do here, but I think once you cut all these squares out, you can come up with the coolest designs ever. I think this is so neat how we can go ahead and cut each one of these out and get really interesting designs. I'm with you though, Margaret. You sew them together and cut them apart. There's something <laughs> wrong with that. It's fun. I think these are so pretty. And this color combination is really cool. This is a group of jelly rolls and uh, a, and our uh, charm packs that we have. It's called Fusion from Robert Kaufman. But look at this. We could have so much fun with this. You can put these. Look at that. There, we're going to start and get our pinwheel. There's our pinwheel. Is, is that not neat? So these are these are really not hard to do. They're just a little fussy with this tiny size. But that's why I told you I went ahead and got these in the variety of sizes. When I saw the samples for these, I thought our customers are going to like these because these are really cool. And so look at this. All right. Now I have, look at that. So. There we go. Well, How once neat you sew is this that? together, you're not going to cut this one up. No, here. I'm not going to cut this one up. <laughs> so aren't they pretty? So I just love this idea. I thought it was really interesting. And I have a feeling my squares aren't as square as I'd like. But you, you try cutting them out with Dave putting the camera between you and the rotary cutter. So I did pretty good there. <laughs> so, But they're so adorable. So one of the things that she had as a sample, she had this beautiful little bag and it had all these pinwheels on it. And I was like, I want to make one of those. It's so cool. So anyway, yes, I, I was totally taken with this. And you might actually have even heard of these before. I, this was brand new to me. So I thought it was really cool. I'm going to make some samples and hopefully by next week I can show off some more of this stuff to you because I really do think it's really fun. But let's take and talk about two more things before we have to go. One is the University of Sewing Bag. You can win right now by sharing our uh, video with your friends and family. So what you do is you hit Facebook, share, and then you write in the comments that you shared. So that is really cool. Okay. And then I want to make sure we go back to this because I had this yesterday and maybe you weren't watching yesterday. But if you have a Bernina sewing machine and you have embroidery, we are bringing Vanita McCall back 
and Vanita is going to be here for two days. She will be here on March the 30th and the 31st, and we are going to make one heck of a gorgeous tote bag in this class. You're going to learn how to do tiling. You're going to learn how to do machine quilting. And all of this is going to take place in your embroidery hoop. I will tell you, Vanita and Alice are so excited about this. They've done a beautiful job on coming up with a great color combination that everybody, I think, will enjoy. This is going to be, even if these are not yours, I'm guessing you have a loved one who would think you are the most brilliant person giving this as a gift. And even if that's not what you want to do and you just want to come and learn all the techniques, this is going to be a great way for you to be able to go afterwards and be able to do anything you want to do. And I know a lot of times these techniques are kind of intimidating when you're by yourself. But we had Kathy Neal come in here yesterday and I only got to briefly look at what she's been working on. You guys can do this. I know you can. You're going to have a wonderful time. You're all just going to really enjoy this class. Your lunch is included in the price. All your materials are included in the price. And it is up on our website right now. There are only a few seats left. You need to get signed up for this right away. It is going to be on the 30th and the 31st. And it is under in our website under the University of Sewing. When you go into the search engine, just put the name Vanita in there. V E N. I T T A and that will bring up this class and you will be able to sign up and you will love this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Every time we bring her in here, everybody just raves after they leave about how much they've learned, how much information just, you know, a lot of times what we do in these classes is it's not just these specific techniques. We help you with choices on stabilizer, on needles, on thread and when you should use what and how you should set up your machine to do those things. So you're gonna have a really good time, everybody. Make sure that you go ahead and sign up. And I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything right now. Well, okay, I wanna do one more thing for the long armors. Plus, group. we have a question, Margaret. Of course. Is that bird fabric available in the store? It is, it is. It's called Canyon Birds. And that is available. So um, that line, I think, I'm trying to remember who's done that. It's either blank or QT quilts. So, or QT fabrics. It's either blank or that. So anyway, that is, the, there will be one of the two of them. So I'm pretty sure. So, but if you just put in Canyon Birds, you will get that to come up. And if for some reason I'm not remembering that correctly, just email me at info at universityofsewing.com and I'll send you a link. So if that's, if you're having any problems finding that. Okay, I want to be real quick before we open because that's going to happen in the next two minutes. And it is our long arm event that is in April. Uh, Robin Fippins is going to come. Look at that smile. She is so funny and so sweet. You guys are going to have a ball with her. She is just one of those really fun people. She is going to bring long arming so that you can see how accessible it is. We are going to do things on the frame. We are going to do things on the sit down units. And guys, these machines have gotten so accessible for all of us. Um, we are starting now at just a little over $6,000 for a long arm. And if you didn't realize that right now, go and look at our long arms on our website. You go to the shop and look under the long arms for sale and you will see that there's some amazing prices. Um, and we just got recently a trade-in. So we're gonna get you up and running on that trade-in if that's something that you're interested in. We have this beautiful trade-in right here. It is a Q20 with a cabinet and it is going to be, I have, no, I haven't priced it yet. We got it yesterday. <laughs> so I haven't priced it yet. But it's going to be up on, on the site here very soon. 
So make sure that you take a look. And it has a low number of hours and stitches. Okay, so we will have that information for you. I will get the number of stitches and we will get everything ready to go. I have to make sure we have a couple of things all put together so it is ready to go back out the door into your house. So it's a gorgeous machine and you will love it. And we will uh, be having this up. It's like I said, it's a trade-in. So it is something we're going to have serviced and we're taking care of. It was really well taken care of. So um, it's going to be available for sale very soon. So keep an eye on that. We are getting in a number of trade-ins recently. I'm going to have a 570 trade-in available very soon. And I am going to have this. I also am going to have a couple mechanical machines. So keep your eye out for all of that. We are going to be putting those all up on the website here. Um, I'm hoping in the next two weeks. So if you're looking for a machine, it might be a great time for that. Everybody, it is Saturday morning. It is now almost 10 o'clock and we got to open up. And I want to thank you for hanging out with us this morning. And we will see you soon, I hope. And if we don't see you soon, just say hi in the messages because I know some of you can't come and visit in person, which is kind of a drag. I enjoy talking to all of you. So have a wonderful Saturday, and we will see you next Friday for Facebook Live.